What up, everyone? This is your Neuroscience Minute, where I break down neuroscience research so you don't have to. Since we're at the 10th video mark, since the last review, I thought it would be a good idea to have another one. Although it may not seem this way, but there is an overarching theme that connects not just the past 10 videos, but all of the videos. And that is, the brain will function based on how you live your life. It is an extremely powerful tool, and as you can see, can be shaped and reshaped throughout your life. So for instance, if you're eating well, getting enough sleep, and being active, your brain will thank you because these are the things it needs to run efficiently. Another example is that your fears and anxieties can be learned. We learned this already. And that fear is related to stress. And if you remember the first Neuroscience Minute video, you'll know that stress is really bad for you. By now, you have probably guessed that the brain is really complicated and that sometimes it's best to look outside the brain to figure out what the issue is because the brain and the body are both connected. Thanks for watching and supporting all the Neuroscience Minute videos and I look forward to making new ones. For now though, that's been your Neuroscience Minute. Peace out.